loves and welcome back to my channel. Today we're getting into Quiet Luxury bags. Quiet Luxury has always been around and there are brands that are known particularly for making Quiet Luxury bags. What Quiet Luxury typically entails is that the bag is a little more understated. It doesn't typically have big flashy logos on it and maybe if you weren't into fashion you wouldn't necessarily know the brand that the bag is made by. It's now more of a concern for people who live in certain locations what types of designer bags they're carrying. Not everyone necessarily wants their bag to shout, this is a designer bag, but they want to carry a quality luxury bag. And by the way, if you're new here, hi, my name is Morgan. I make videos about luxury handbags, fashion, and lifestyle. So if that's your thing, please subscribe and turn on notifications. I upload twice a week and I would love to have you here. And let's get into the quiet luxury bags in my collection and recommendations if you're looking for a quiet luxury bag. First bag I wanted to start with is my Hermes Pico Tint. The Hermes Kelly and Birkin are very, very well known. Everyone's gonna kind of know that that bag costs a lot of money and that Hermes makes those bags. I think a lot of people forget because of how much press the Birkin and the Kelly get, Hermes makes dozens of bag styles that are not Birkins and Kellys. Not everyone is going to know that the Pico Tint is an Hermes bag. Carry it, you'll know, because the quality is there. But people from the outside aren't necessarily going to be able to tell that it's an Hermes bag. There are so many other styles from Hermes that are just a lot more plain and understated. You can really wear without as much worry. They also often cost a lot less than a Birkin or a Kelly. And of course, there are some styles that I don't think are really worth the price tag, but a few that I really like that I would consider quiet luxury are the garden party especially in the smaller size I'm personally looking at a release bag as well really release I'm not really sure how you say it. you guys know I'm terrible with Hermes names so just please excuse my pronunciation and there's also a bag called the Veru bag I'm probably saying that wrong as well but all of these bags have a beautiful timeless design that you can wear for many many years but don't attract the same attention as a Birkin or a Kelly you're getting the Hermes quality without shouting look at my Hermes bag and that's what makes all of these styles very quiet luxury the second bag I wanted to share was my Celine Nano. Now I also have the bigger size in the gray and maybe that color would be a little more quiet luxury. Quiet luxury you also maybe want to pay attention to the colors. It's more attention grabbing special colors aren't really as quiet luxury but if you got this in a neutral color or even a more muted color it doesn't draw the same attention as the bags from Celine that say like Celine across it or have the big triumph logo on it. I love the luggage line for quiet luxury especially this small one if you turn it around to the back and wear this on the outside it's not necessarily a very showy bag there's no branding on this side and on this one, you only have the very small Celine logo here. So it's not a very shouty bag. Celine is a great brand to look for quiet luxury. You can honestly just take your pick. They make fabulous bags that are very timeless. I would say for Celine, just avoid the logo print and avoid anything that says Celine on the bag, like in big, bold letters. Other than that, they're a great brand to shop for quiet luxury options. Next bag on my list is my Balenciaga City. This is one that, yes, is very well known in the fashion world but I like to think of quiet luxury that like if I ask my aunt or a friend who's not into fashion who makes this bag they probably couldn't tell me beautiful hardware on it that really polishes the bag but it doesn't draw attention in a very flashy way the same way a logo would this is still quality and very well made and if you have a casual style I think a Balenciaga City is a great bag this style of the city is not in production anymore so you have to go pre-loved for it but I love my city bags I have it in three different sizes and whether this is a good thing or a bad thing but you typically kind of know quiet luxury when you don't get as many compliments this bag when I wear it I don't really get compliments on the bag I think in that case if that's kind of what you're going for is to not grab a lot of attention a city bag in a neutral color is a great option I also have the new version of it the neo city I believe it's called it's also an option for a quiet luxury bag if you go in a more neutral color now this one you're probably saying, wait, like there's a giant logo on it. How is this quiet luxury? The reason I brought this to the list is to make a couple of points. The Capucines is one that's actually designed that over time as you wear it, this will relax. And you can have just this little symbol in front. So this is a great one that if, say you are taking public transportation throughout the day, 
you might could carry it like this where you know the area and you're aware of your surroundings and then if you're feeling a little unsure you can carry it like this this gives you versatility in how you can wear the bag and how much you want to show off with this bag especially I think in the smaller sizes they grab a little less attention than the big size of course LV is known for that flash and that show and yes this has been part of an influencer campaign in the last year and that does make it a little more well known but still this with the flap over the front is a lot less known than a monogram piece this and even carried with the backside forward looks very plain and showing it in this neutral color just kind of shows you how it can be more understated. Another bag you could also go for from Louis Vuitton is the Alma. Alma is a classic timeless design you can have in your wardrobe for many years and it's very understated and will never go out of style. Gucci is known as a very flashy brand but they have a few lines that actually I would consider quiet luxury. If you enjoy that brand my first recommendation is the horse bit line. Now of course not in the floral, maybe not in a bright color either. But if you got this bag in a black color or a beige color, you just have this simple hardware here at the top. There's nothing on that bag that has a GG logo, which is the most recognizable logo from the brand. Of course, many people know the horse bit, but I would argue that this hardware is a lot more understated than a big GG plastered on the front of your bag. Also a design that is not as well known as like the Marmont line is. You're kind of screaming, look at my Gucci bag when you wear that bag. If you're looking for quiet luxury, luxury look for the horse bit hardware and in this line they have totes they have a camera bag they have different sizes of this bag so you have a lot of options no matter how you like to carry your bag one more line from Gucci that I wanted to mention is the Jackie line so this one is a vintage Jackie but even with the new ones you just have this very simple hardware that says Gucci very small here and this is one because of the way you wear it tucked under your arm. It doesn't look like a whole lot when you're wearing it like this. This is a great option if you're looking for something a little more quiet that holds a lot. It really just doesn't draw that much attention. Another vintage line I would recommend looking at is anything with the Gucci bamboo handle in a very plain fabric or plain leather like avoid the florals and avoid the logo. Also a really lovely option from Gucci for quiet luxury. Of course we can't do this list without Givenchy. Givenchy has definitely a more edgy style, a more casual style, but what I love about them is like the logo is like this big. From far away you like don't see it and the backside is like the plainest bag you've ever seen. This is why so many people recommend this bag for people who commute to work and are looking for a work bag. It doesn't draw a lot of attention and it's very easy to hide this logo. Givenchy has many styles that only have this teeny tiny logo. They might do some more edgy and interesting shapes or maybe some chunky chains or something you know different with the strap. But mostly overall, they don't make a whole lot of super logo heavy bags. Generally, if you're looking for quiet luxury and you have an edgier style, Givenchy is a great brand to look at. And the last bag on my list, now keep in mind, not in this colorway, is the Chanel reissue. With Chanel prices going through the roof, honestly, it has now become a big concern for a lot of people to carry a Chanel bag depending on where you live. Of course this is not a concern in Dubai. A lot of people that I'm having conversations with that live in the US, that live in Europe, are concerned about what it means to carry a classic flap today. It used to be a huge difference between carrying a Birkin and carrying a Chanel classic flap and now they equally make you a target for theft because the perceived value, even if you bought your bag like I did several years ago, and the price was much lower, the new value for that bag is so high and the pre-love prices are so high, thieves know they can resell that bag for a lot of money. And if you want to enjoy Chanel a little more worry-free, a reissue is a great style. The reason why I say this is quiet luxury is the clasp. It almost looks like, you know when those brands try to make a copy of a Chanel bag and they do the quilting and then they do some very plain hardware? It could look like that to other people if you have this in a more neutral or muted colorway. And quite honestly, with how it is today, I don't care if people think it's fake. Like, that keeps me safer on the street. But if you're looking for that quiet luxury option from Chanel and you just love the brand and you want to enjoy it, but you're just too worried to carry a classic flap everywhere, 
I would say look into the reissue, but I really do recommend this bag as a quiet luxury option from Chanel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and let me know your thoughts on quiet luxury. I know people are quite divided on this. Some people love it. Some people want people to know that they're carrying a designer bag and there's nothing wrong with either. So I want to hear your opinions on it down in the comments below. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok to see how I style my bags and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.